All right. So now that we know how to find horizontal asymptotes, we know how to find holes, we know how to find vertical asymptotes, and we can use limit notation to describe how the graph is behaving around them, let's look for an oblique asymptote. Let's see what happens when the horizontal asymptote doesn't exist. How do we find the oblique asymptote? So I have an equation. Let's do f of x equals x cubed minus 1 over x squared minus x. And well, let's just go through our process. Let's find oblique. Let's find any holes. Let's find any um, vertical asymptotes, and let's see if we can find the slant asymptote. I will tell you this will not have a horizontal asymptote. So first and foremost, let's factor everything because that's going to be our rule: factor everything. All right. So here we go. F of x equals. Well, this is a difference of cubes, so this is going to give me x minus one over x squared plus x plus 1, special factor you should have memorized, and then the bottom has the greatest common factor of x times x minus 1. Hey, look, my x minus 1's cancel. I have a hole. Yay, we have a hole. So we know x minus 1 cannot equal 0. So x cannot equal 1. So my hole is going to occur at 1. And I now have a reduced polynomial of x squared plus x plus 1 over x. Take the 1, plug it in here. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Last time I checked, divided by 1 still gives me just 3. Therefore, my whole is at 3, 1, 3. All right. So what about my vertical asymptote? Well, let's just kind of do this on the side over here. Vertical asymptote. So I know x cannot equal zero because that's the only thing that's left right here, right? So let's figure out what's going on. So we're going to do the limit as x approaches zero from the left, and limit as x approaches zero from the right. Let's do our tables. So coming from the left, I'm going to do a negative 0.1, a negative 0, 0.01, and a negative 0, 0.01. zero one. All right. I forgot to calculate these. Yay me. Let me go grab my calculator and do this real quick. This is a last minute decision on the video. So let's calculate. I have got, um, let's start with negative the one. up. These are all rounded numbers. So this is going to go to infinity. All right. So I have my vertical asymptote. My vertical asymptote is simply, let's see, x equals zero, or that's also the y-axis. And I know how the graph is behaving right around zero as I'm coming from the left and as Right. As I come from the left, it's going down. As I come from the right, it's going up. All right. Now, let's look at this. Horizontal asymptote. Huh. My degree here on top is 2. My degree on bottom is 1. That's a problem because that means I don't have a horizontal asymptote. And I have to find the oblique asymptote or what's also called the slant asymptote. And we're going to do our good old friend polynomial long division. So we're going to take my divisor here. X to plus 0 divided by my dividend, which is going to be x squared plus x plus 1, and let's do long division. How many times does x go into x squared? Well, that just simply goes in x times, and we're going to multiply x times x gives me x squared, x times 0 gives me plus 0x. I'm going to subtract this whole thing, x squared minus x squared gives me 0, and x minus 0 gives me x. I bring down my plus 1. How many times does x go into x? Well, clearly it only goes in one time. So we're going to do x. 1 times x is x, and 1 times 0 still just gives me 0. I subtract the whole thing, and I have a 1. So my remainder is 1 over x. Your quotient is your slant asymptote of the graph. So I have a slant asymptote. So my slant asymptote is 
y equals x plus 1. And we're getting closer to be able to graph these. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on how to find what's really going on with limit notations here. I'm going to leave that for calculus uh, because there is a method, but that's way above and beyond what we need to do in pre-cal. Um, but I can tell you what's going on just by looking at this because that calculus is not hard, but we're not going to do it in pre-cal. All right, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics.